everybody you already know who it is it's your girl everything is tv i'm trying to prop this up like this can y'all see it so i have this um raspberry iced tea and i put a little bit of um orange juice in it and then I made this breakfast of a lifetime. I got spinach with butter and fresh garlic. I have these um, fried potatoes my way because I don't like my potatoes real hard. But I just like a little bit of Christmas crisp to it. These aren't really crisp. Some of them are, but this is how I like mine. And then I have this spam now. This is low sodium spam. Oh. Mm -hmm. These potatoes is bomb. <laughs> They're bomb. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's so good. So, um, I'm off today. I got two days off, but one day I had to work my other my side gig. And I work I, I told y'all I clean Airbnb. So that really wasn't the office because I was working. But today like I'm off. But I still have to uh, work for class, for school, for college. So, after I do that assignment, yeah, I'm pretty much good because everything else is due on Sunday. But I like it when you got food, but you have more than enough time to get your assignment done. So, they finally found the lady jogger that went missing, Eliza Fletcher. And I actually, I watched him come in the court because it was so fast. Like, this case was fast. Like, a lot of people are saying other cases don't get that much attention. Well, that's because this lady is pretty much uh,
a granddaughter of a billionaire, so she's an heiress. So you know those those kind of um stories are gonna get way more attention than if you're just a regular person. Everybody knows that. I don't know why everybody's mad. In this case is pretty much like a celebrity. I'd like if a celebrity go missing. They're going to be all over the news. So. That's how it is. Is it right? No, it ain't right. But when you have money like that, you can go to the radio station. Radio station, you gotta pay for that stuff. You go to the radio station to put it out on the radio. Helicopters. Cause they had everybody out there. But I forgot that other case. Where the lady was black, they had helicopters looking for her and everything. I forgot what case it was, but some of them cases with them black women, they be having helicopters out there. That don't be rare. That don't be a lot of cases, but sometimes it do be cases where they be looking for a black woman. They have helicopters and everything out looking. It be on the radio. It be everywhere. It's just that it's not as rare as they show on I need to be saying with the um white women. Yeah, y'all, I don't like it. You know, when people come here, I have to ask for somebody else. Like, how do you know the, the people that you used to come and say, how do you not know that they move? I would say if you don't know, maybe they don't want you to know that they moved somewhere. Did you ever think about that? This been the book. Yeah, a lot of people don't want you to know they move, and they just move, and then people come into your place. Come and hear your patient ask me for other people. I'm just like,
problems that they didn't want you to know because if they did want you to know, you would be knocking at their door where they're at now. Her last night. Mm. I watched the fly too. I want to ask you. Wait, but. Because I didn't know what kind of sequel they was going to have, like. Then I call it. There's a statue. Um, a Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, I put it on every time. I put it at the West Point or something. And I was like, Yeah, you're gonna need to take that down. Now, they said that a person that put it up there was like this. She wanted to catch uh, the history of the United States. Uh-uh. No. You need to take that down. It's like they all took all of these statues down about slavery and stuff like that. And slave owner, you need to take that Ku Klux Klan statue down. Yeah, but I don't know the KKK know about it. I bet they having a party right now. They definitely need to take a name. Good old spirit. People are crazy. Seriously. Like, I don't even know why they would even put that up. They know that it's going to cause a lot of controversy. They know that people going to want them to take it down. So why even? It's like they want attention. But you're getting bad attention when you do stuff like that.
And then so I forgot somebody was talking about this. And he was like that, um, What the hell happened? Oh, I think it was that dude Willie did. He was talking about that. And he was like that why didn't they put up um Nate Turner right next to him? He was like, because Nate Turner, he said it all that he did this and he did that. <coughs> Nate Turner killed innocent children. Those children had nothing to do with what their parents were doing. He killed innocent kids. And you said, no, they're talking about he did this and he did that. He That man was a murderer. He murdered a whole bunch of people. He murdered and not just the parents. He murdered the kids, too. Like, come on now. You got to do better than that, Willie Day. You know? Because I don't justify anybody killing no kids. Kids are innocent. Those kids ain't had nothing to do with that. If the things that they were saying to some of them slaves, they were forced to do it. Them kids don't ain't even know what they were saying. Seriously, them kids ain't know what they were saying. They were taught to hate. But for you to say, oh, he said it off, he did this and he did that when he was over there killing kids. Like, come on, man. Mm-mm. And I heard there's a lot of stuff that he says that people people are starting to like <clears throat> unsubscribe to his channel because they was even talking about I haven't seen the video, but they was even talking about that he was um that he was like blaming Aaliyah for getting involved with Art Kelly. Uh, a thing a thing about that is Aaliyah was a child. Aaliyah was a kid. You know, and I haven't seen the video, but, you know, there's a lot of people saying it. And when, usually when there's a lot of people saying it, you, I'm not skeptical, skeptical about it. <clears throat> you know, that, uh, you know, when it's that many people saying it. Look at my little butt, y'all. When it's that many people saying it, I'm not skeptical about anything. You know, I believe he, he, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't seen the video. Maybe I need to go check the video out. I don't know. But I just don't like how he said that Nate Turner did his thing he did this when he was over there killing kids like he killed whole families and yeah the slave owners did the same thing but what you y'all have to realize is those those kids were taught they were taught that hate they didn't grow up with hating people no kid and nobody that comes in this world grows up and just, oh, I hate black people. Oh, I hate white people. No, they're taught that at home to hate white people or to hate a certain race. They're taught that at home. So when he says, oh, he was doing his thing, and he really, he really, uh, you know, he showed them what it was. It, all he did was do more killing and killing and get himself killed. Nate Turner got himself killed. After he did all that killing, they tracked him down and they killed him. So was it really worth it killing him? For the slave owners, you're yeah, killing them, but you didn't just kill the slave owners. You killed whole families. And some of them women, they probably ain't hit. They probably was taught, even though you should think if you're a adult, you know, nobody should be able to tell you what to do. But some people can be easily brainwashed. So I, I believe a lot of those women, that a lot of those white people back in the day, they didn't hate black people. Y'all ever heard about the Freedom Riders where they went to those, um, to go sit in the restaurants and stuff? 
and the people would spit on them and stuff like that. It was white people that sat right with them. So for y'all to say all white people were all all white people were not bad. Some white people were out there fighting with you guys. But for him to say, oh Nate Turner, he did this, and Nate Turner did that, and uh he said it all. Yeah, he did say it all. He, he all he did was murder a whole bunch of people, and on top of that, he murdered innocent kids. You know what I'm saying? Just like what happened with Emmett Till. And now they talking about that the lady lied and stuff like <sighs> That's crazy. Like, lady, why would you do something like that? You know, back in the day, it was it, black people would be killed if they were caught doing some crazy mess like you said Emmett Till did. And then on top of that, you lied. That lady should be in jail. I don't care how... They put old people in jail. Yes, they do. I've seen a lot of old people go to jail. What's that one uh, man? He old... I forgot what... he. I think he murdered some people. I think he murdered some people. And they finally found him. He like 80-something years old. And, and, and he's... They taking his behind in jail. I mean, the prison. So she needs to go too because she lied. Like she lied and she got a, a young black guy, you know, killed because she lied about something. And she, I don't care. I don't care how old she is. She should go right to prison for what she did. She should be charged with murder because with her lies, it ended in him, him being murdered for something that was not true. And now they talk about they not going to do nothing about it. Like, come on, man. Yeah, let me show y'all what it looks like. I know I didn't eat a lot, y'all. I know y'all like, oh, you ain't eat a lot. I didn't eat a lot because... Eat a lot for what? To be gluttony. People that eat all that food and stuff, that's 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 greed. That's a sin. To eat food like that, to be greedy like that. And then on top of that you got I was hearing about the um in Somalia in Somalia that like 700 kids had died from um, malnutrition and not not just starvation, but like diseases like measles and, and different diseases like that. And um, yeah, it's bad to see, oh, see all those kids starving. And then you see all the food that places uh, throw out, which they say they don't, but it is true. Like a lot of people say it's bulls. It's bull, bull that a lot of those companies be like, we can't give it to nobody because if they get sick or something, they could sue us. It is true. It is true. They have stories of people that have businesses that gave food to certain people and they use that as to get money. They they sue and be like, oh, I got sick. And then they... And then they go to court and they get some amount of money. That's been going on for a long time. So, yeah, it is true. That's not a lie. It's not bull crap. It's true. A lot of those businesses are scared to get sued because, you know, even people do people do a lot of scammy stuff, man. And that's one scammy thing that people can do. You give them food and they get sick, they sue you. You got people that do slip and falls in stores. You know, you got a lot of people to do a lot of scam, scammy stuff right now. And a lot of these businesses ain't willing to risk their, their business, their livelihood, or how they make money. They just not going to do it. Now, yeah, we've been helping. We have been helping um, these uh, countries that need food. Like, we'll drop the food off, but, you know, they have those gorilla people that come and take all the food 
from the people for themselves. And a lot of those um people over there that take the food, they're filthy rich. That's what I'm talking about. Very greedy. Greed. You know, very greedy. They they have food in their house. But they just think, oh, the more. I want more. I want more. I want more. Greedy, 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 greedy. That's how those people are over there in those countries. And they don't care about their own people. Because you can see, they letting them start it. Like, Y'all should see some of them pictures of those kids. You can see, the, you can see their bones. You can see their bones. Like, it's like skeleton. Like, those kids are starving, and it's, we are giving them food. Like, I don't want to hear people talking about, oh, the U.S. ain't helping. Yes, we are. And then I know a lot of people are like, okay, well, y'all drop the food off, so y'all should make sure that the food gets to them. But that's just going to be another war. Why are we going to start a war in a, another country? We got too much going on to be starting all these wars. You know how many wars we will be in? If we actually, like, all the food that we drop off in them countries, if we got, you know what I'm saying? Oh, give the, get the food to the right people, and then we have to go fight these people because they fighting against us to try to get this food to these people. Man, we would, we would, man, we would be in so many wars. We don't have time, for real. We don't have time, but we have been giving them food. But we keep giving them food and giving them food and giving them aid. And it's just not getting nowhere. They're still in the same predicament. They're still, those kids are still 700. Some kids died. 700. That's crazy. Like, they need to be doing something. Like, the men over there, you guys, seriously, y'all need to get up. Uh, whatever y'all are doing over there, get up and, and do something. Because you can't keep bringing these kids in this world just for them to starve, starve to death, and die. How, how, how is that? How, how can you sleep at night knowing that you're bringing all these kids in the world and they ain't doing nothing but starving to death and they're dying? That's ridiculous. You, you guys, y'all, y'all... Men over there in the other countries in Africa, y'all need to get it together. Do something. Sometimes you got to sacrifice your life. Because I know a lot of them like, well, if we do this, we get... Well, there's a lot of people that did things and they sacrifice their life. But when they made that sacrifice, they sacrificed their life. You know, things change. Look, Martin Luther King, he sacrificed his life fighting for the rights of black people. And now we're allowed to get on the bus. We can sit in the front. <laughs> Most of the time I sit in the back of the bus, which is crazy. I love the back sitting in the back of the bus. But yeah, if it wasn't for uh um what's her name? Rosa Park. For saying she wasn't gonna move. That was a step. She she they they I think she went to jail for that. But she made a sacrifice. That's why I'm telling you, all them black people back there, Malcolm X, you know, just all the black people that fought, that fought for our rights, they made a sacrifice. And sometimes you got to be willing to make a sacrifice. You got to be willing to die to get things changed. But just to continue to bring those kids in the world knowing that, that you can't take care of them. That, that that don't make no sense to me. And that you know you ain't going to be able to feed them. You know you ain't going to be able to clothe them. Because a lot of those kids, they, they don't even be having clothes on. They be naked. So you can't feed the kids. You can't clothe the kids. You can't. A lot of those kids don't have shoes. Because that's how they be getting them on. Um, those tapeworms, but they do have people, missionaries from the college I go to. They have missionaries that go over there and help help them and get them shoes so they're not stepping in the dirty water. That's where those worms be at. They be step those kids step in dirty water or they drink dirty water and then it gets in their system. So they do have, we, we are helping, but we can only help but so much. The, the people over there, like those men, you guys have to take a stand too. 
we can only do so much but to help you guys. We've been trying, but we can't do it all on our own. So you guys got to stand up. Sacrifice. You're going to have to sacrifice. Maybe you're going to have to sacrifice your life. But hey, you'll be changing so these kids can come in this world and they don't have to worry about starving. Cause a lot of these kids, they 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 so they're so they've been starving for so long that they can't eat. They can't. You think you can take this food over there and feed those kids? They get sick. They start to throw up. You got to give them. You got. They got to work up the solid food. Like a lot of times, they they said they have tubes of milk. Like those those kids that are like one two years old that are starving, they have to eat milk like an infant, and then they have to work up, and then they can work up to rice. If some of them start feeding them rice, you know how the babies get older. They can after milk, you can start putting um that rice stuff in the milk so that they can uh start gaining weight and stuff, and then they can work up to you know. They probably ain't going to give them this kind of... I mean... Then they probably work them up to vegetables and stuff like that. And then they can work up to eating eggs and then meats and stuff like that. But off the jump, you just can't go over there and give the, the, those kids this kind of food. They ain't going to be able to digest it. They have to work up to eating this type of food. But the thing is, the men in that country, you guys got to get up and you got to stop being scared. You got to stop being scared and be like, look, y'all you, y'all not going to do this to, uh, to our kids no more. Our kids are starving over here. They can't eat. And then you got the global the global pandemic that's going on. And a, a lot, they having all these droughts. You can't, you can't plant food if it's a drought. How are you going to plant food? You need water. Like, you need water to plant food. And, you know, then you have the regular food that the plants need. Because plants don't just need just straight water. They need they need plant food, like fertilizer, too, to grow plants. So you got to know, you got to be educated and knowing how to grow food, for one thing. You know, start to educate yourself. Start to read. Go on the internet. Do something so that you... Because there's a lot of things going on in this world, guys. And a lot of people, they just aren't educating themselves. Like today, I seen a word. I was reading on um, about like what was going on in Somalia. And they said they were going to have another uh, famine. And if I had been in school and I had been educating my mind, I wouldn't even know what that word meant. I would have had to look it up. Like, what's that mean? But I've been educating myself. I've been reading. I'm in college. And I know what that word means. And I was so proud of myself that I didn't have to go look up a word. I was so proud of myself to know what that word meant. And basically, it means that there's going to be a drought of no food. Like, when they talk about that, there's no food there. So, like, it talked about it uh, in the Bible, too how um, they didn't have no food. They had to venture off to another place to find food. But they were, in the Bible, they were able to get to all these places. Like, they had, like, they had family, you know, that owned a lot of stuff. A lot of those people, a lot of those people in the Bible back in the day, they owned a lot of stuff. They owned a lot of land. So, they were farmers. There were a lot of farmers back then in the Bible. So, yeah, I'm telling y'all, it, it's some crazy mess going on. You know, you got that going on. I was hoping that Eliza, the jogger, Fletcher, I was hoping that she would be alive, man. I, I, I was praying. I was praying so hard that she would be found alive. but Because I never want to see that happen. And I don't care what race you are. I don't, I, I, I'm not the type of person, I don't care about that race stuff. When I hear about a woman, you know, being abducted, I always,
always pray that they come back safe, safe and sound. And <clears throat> to me, if it feel it feels like it was it was planned by this uh it might not even be I, I don't know, a lot of people are speculating. I'm not speculating it, but it's a lot of people are alleging that the whole story just don't sound right. And that a lot of people are alleging that the husband might know or might be in on it. But I'm really not feeling that in my heart. I mean, he I don't I don't even know if he spoke out yet. I don't know. I have to go to the uh I had to do a little bit more research on the um like the press conference and stuff like that. But um if if that if it is alleged that the husband had something to do with it, the only way we gonna know is, is the black guy, you know, um speaks up. Cause it's crazy, the black guy he could be paid off. He could be being paid off. I don't know the whole the, this whole story. It's, it, it it is kind of strange that this uh, billionaire's granddaughter would just be abducted, and then on top of that, he he um he tried to kidnap somebody that was a co-worker of her grandfather. I mean, the whole thing is crazy, but. We got to see what he say, because if he's willing to go to, if he didn't, if he had nothing to do with this and it was a, a murder for hire, you know, and he's going to go down for the, they might give him the death penalty. If he's willing to die, no, I mean, if you get a death penalty, you know, you're not going to get no money. But I, I don't think, I don't really think it had. I don't think the husband really had anything to do with it. I don't think the family had anything to do with it. I think this was, um, I do think it was premeditated because, because he was stalking her. He was stalking her. So I think that, you know, he drove through this, you know, very ritzy neighborhood. And he saw a very attractive white woman. And he wanted to do something for her, but people that's um, alleging that the husband might have had something to do with it. If the husband did have something to do with it, that black guy would tell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just like with the, um, what's the one, McKeever Jenkins, all those guys that was in on it, they, they, they singing like canaries right now. They telling everything. So I don't think that that guy, the guy that kidnapped this, uh, that kidnapped Eliza, I don't think he would be willing to go down for uh something that was a murder for hire, and he he wouldn't say nothing. No, this black that black guy would snitch. Yeah, he would tell everything. If he if a black person on their life is on the line, there's been a lot of black men that um have just start singing like canaries because they didn't want to do all that time. And he got a lot of time behind him. He might get the death penalty. So the only what reason we don't know that, which I don't think the family had anything to do with it. And I don't think her husband had anything to do with it because if he did this dude, when he, they really start with the case, he going to start telling everything. He would tell, look, this was, this was, a. I was hired to do this. You know what I'm saying? The hug, but we going to get to it. But the, the way that when I'm, the way I'm looking at the family and the way they acting, I don't think they had anything to do with this because they're not acting suspicious. You know, they're not acting like they don't want to talk about it. They're like right there in the middle talking about it. Like nobody's going to do that. If, if they doing a murder for hire, they ain't going to get up. In, in the spotlight, they gonna they gonna be like, look, I don't want to talk about it. They ain't gonna want to talk about nothing. That's why I don't believe the family had anything to do with it, and I really don't believe her husband had anything um to do with it. For what? For, for what to get money? What are you talking about to get money? They the family's already wealthy. 
that's a billionaire family. Like what 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 money could the husband want? So that's why I'm not understanding what people saying, but yeah, this was good. So I'm gonna um wrap this up. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up and put it in the refrigerator. I'm all, I'm probably gonna sip on this all day. I need to go get my strive. My strive is still packed away. And um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. We we just right now, everybody, we just gotta pray. We gotta pray for all these lost souls. There's a lot of lost souls in this world. There's a lot of um, damaged souls in this world. There's a lot of people that they just doing. They just doing ridiculous stuff. And maybe maybe they going through something. Maybe they going through something. But if you ever had somebody that telling you they going to do some crazy stuff, try to talk to them. And try to talk to them. And if you ain't really a good talker, try, try to get them to go to somebody to talk to somebody. Because a lot of people, you guys ain't good talkers. And somebody asks you, oh, I need somebody to talk to, but you you don't have no social skills. You don't know how to talk to nobody. You don't know how to talk to nobody, so you really can't really help your friend if your friend is um, going going through one of those fits and crazy talking about they're they going to hurt everybody. That's a damaged and lost soul. So, guys, I'm about to get on up out of here. I got some chapters to read, but I'm probably, I'm going to um, straighten up this living room right now, put the clothes away, because I folded clothes last night. No, got to wash clothes. I told y'all we got this washer, and I don't know if the people knew what was up with the washer, but the washer is not good, so... When I get my money that's coming soon, um, I'm going to get me a new washer and I'm going to get me a dryer. I don't know. We still got to look to see how the hookup go. But, yeah, that's why I'm going to get me a new washer, a new dryer. I'm going to get me some backdrops because y'all know I'm about to um, get in my studio and start, straight, start straightening that stuff up for my studio. I'm looking for um I'm looking like for a small couch. I think I want my whole studio to be pink, black, and um gray. That's the color I'm going for, pink, black, and gray. So guys, I'm about oh, and I gotta get my hair shots done. Oh yes, it's coming. I'm I'm I, yeah, I gotta get my hair shots done. Hair shots is really expensive. <clears throat> The most I would say to get is 10. I mean, but you, you can get three. Three is good. But you just like, um, a lot of Asians want you to get them done every six months. To um, Especially if your look has changed. But I'm like, if your look hasn't changed, you know, you can get put on different clothes and stuff like that. But if your look hasn't changed, I don't think you should have to get it every six months. You know, you can get every 12 months if your look doesn't change. But if your look is always changing, yeah. But, yeah, um, got to get, get my head shots. I'm a, I know there's some people in Hampton that can do good head shots. So I'm going to um, figure out a place where they have it in Hampton. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get my head shots done. And we just going to go from there because it's only up from here. So y'all know what it is. Please like and subscribe my channel. When you come in, like the video, please. Okay? Like this video. Also hit the bell notification. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you can know each and every time I upload a new video. I love you guys. Always thinking about you. Until next time, it is your girl, Everything's TV, and I will see you guys in another one. Be safe and be peace.
peaceful and humble. Stay humble, y'all.